Hey guys, it's Captain Collector. Welcome back to my channel. Look what came in the mail today. This is from the Captain Janeway Bloomington Collective. And it's basically a, I don't know, like an organization that formed to, to honor Captain Janeway. And they recently built a monument in her hometown, Bloomington, Indiana. And um, I, I donated um, $100 to their cause and they already built the monument. So they said that my funds would be used to maintain her statue, um, which is like in for, for public viewing. And um, I think maybe a, a while later, like a month later, the one of the founding members like emailed me and said, hey, since you donated over $100 or like 100 or more, um, we'll send you um, this poster, this commemorative poster. And I was like, oh my gosh, I thought this poster was sold out, um, you know, because it was seen as like a promotional item for to donate to make her statue. And so since I donated after the statue was made, I thought, oh, they probably just ran out. And so I was so surprised that she emailed me and um, I told her my home address and it came in the mail today. It took about a couple of weeks to come to me, but like, I'm so happy to have this. So I'll open it up for you and show you guys what it is. This is so fancy. I should look up the artist, but um, let me look up the artist really quick. Okay, I just looked this up. But so the artist of this poster was JK Woodward. And he does, a, he, he's a comic book artist and he actually did the artwork for Star Trek Voyager Smoke and Mirrors, Mirrors and Smoke. And so this is really amazing, but he does a lot of artwork for Star Trek. Um, I saw some other lines too, but so this is like a really, you know, really famous artist. And, you know, he made this poster. Um, for this event, and I'm just so happy to have this. Okay, ready? Okay, here we go. Okay, ready? Wow, this paper is super thick. So here's the print. You can see the courthouse on the bottom, and then there's some like string lights, and then the Voyager ship is just like, like flying right over it over her hometown and that's just so cool so i believe the dimensions are like 11 by 17 yeah 11 by 17 which is a, a common size for posters this will be pretty easy to frame um the print quality is pretty good it's a little the resolution is not as good as um i thought it would be but it's not bad but it's super cool it's like a kind of like a sunset scene and this is just so cool there's there's honestly barely any voyager um like official prints and stuff and posters um it just wasn't as popular as like enterprise in the original series so it's hard to find stuff like this so this is so cool i'm gonna totally frame this and it'll probably replace batwoman but oh well okay so i think i have some more boxes to open we can try opening this one. I don't know what this is. It's like a Funko or something. It's from Entertainment Earth. Let's put this away. Okay. I don't know what's in here. Let's see. Here's my receipt. Let's put this away. Oh, look. Wow, they gave me a catalog. Oh my goodness. I must have bought so much they gave me like a catalog to buy more stuff. Wow, look at all the stuff you can buy. Okay, okay. What did I get? Okay, so we have like paper. Could be a Funko. Oh my God, look. Oh, I didn't know this came already. It's the, um, it's the Armorer. I believe this is the, the Black Series. Oh, wow. Is that all that's in here? Yeah, that's it. Okay. So this is the Black Series. Um, I'm kind of surprised about this box. Usually it's a very um, rectangular box and this is totally angled right here. So they changed their packaging a little bit. So this is, the not the smallest figure not the ones in like the window the carded back windows and stuff this is like would you say six inches 
Let's see. I think so. Yeah, these ones are about six inches and they're just like more poseable, they're bigger. Sometimes the sculpt is better. And you just, I'm just more inclined to take it out of the box and actually pose it. So this is the armor. This is actually, this might be my first black series figure. I don't think I have another one. Um, I did pre-order maybe Cara Dune as well. Oh, you know what? I picked up one from Target. That was a really weird size. I'm not sure what happened to that, but um, so Entertainment Earth, they just, they don't really promise um, mint condition for these, but they try to send you their best ones. So yeah, if you're looking for like an extremely perfect box, you could probably get it from Big Bad Toy Store in their collector's, their, their collector's edition, or um, is that what they call it? Collector grade? But this is just from Entertain, um, Entertainment Earth, and I think since I was going to take it out of the box, I didn't really care about the box condition, so I just kind of got it at the cheapest price that I could find it. So this is really cool. Um, these sell out pretty fast, like GameStop had it, and they even had it on sale, but then it sold out, so... I'm glad I just got it from somewhere. But it looks like she she comes with like um, some tools to weld like armor. And yeah, I don't even know what they're called, but like, you know, giant tongs and a giant hammer. And that's about it. So she's number four. I don't know who the other ones are in this Mandalorian series. It's probably like the Mandalorian himself. Um, Cara Dune is probably one and maybe like IG-11. So yeah, that was the armor. Okay, let's open up one more. Okay. This is from eBay. I think I know what this is. Okay. What does that say? 12 mini plates. I did not order 12 mini plates. Okay, we have a lot of packing material. Oh my God, what is this? It says, Felp D, D slash plus, paid on 526, waiting to win Monday. I'm really nervous about this box. Oh my God, I do not know what this is. Oh my God, oh my goodness. Okay, we have a lot of, Packing material. More packing material. Okay, this could be what I got. It feels okay. Okay, so there's like a box here. Weird postcard it says, thanks a ton. Oh my God, I hope I got what I got. Okay. Oh my god, you guys. Let's clear all this out. Okay. Okay, it's here. I was like, oh my god. Oh my god. I haven't, I don't think I've gotten a package yet where they've tried to like fool you by sending like a box of rocks. Like, but that's like... That'd be a nightmare. But um, this is the Star Trek Voyager 7 of 9 bust from Sideshow. And this is super rare, you guys. Like, I think on eBay, there's one right now um, from like from like Europe. And so the seller selling this plus, I think it might be Bones for like 400 bucks. And so um, I was really surprised to see one from the US um, the starting price was like $25. Of course, like there were like 10 watches on this. And so I just like, I just had to get this. So um, I think I paid about a hundred for this, but this is so cool. I don't know what the scale is for bus. I don't know if they end up being like a one quarter scale or one third. Um, let's see. I don't know, but honestly, like this is so retro, like sideshow. They just don't make stuff for Star Trek anymore. This is so cool, you guys. Let's look at the box. This is actually a different sculpt than like her premium format statues, I think. Yeah, like the ones from premium, the premium format statues were actually kind of a little bit more of a caricature. This is, this looks more accurate.
but it is a bust. So the um, MSRP for this was about $80. And I believe they only made a thousand. And this is maybe number 641. All right, let's open this up. This is so cool. Oh my God, I'm so relieved that I got this and not a box of rocks. Okay, we'll just take it out of the bottom then. Wow, you guys, it's so funny. It's kind of like, it's kind of like in that same foam stuff for premium format statues. But it's um, it's like smaller and carved out for the for the bust. Look, you guys, it's so beautiful. Oh, it looks like it um, it attaches to the back here. But um, so indented it says sideshow collect collectibles. Wow, it's so pretty. Yeah, this is definitely a better, like a more realistic sculpt than the premium formats. Let's open up the tape. Oh my God, how do you take this out? Oh, we got it, we got it. Whoa, dude, it's heavy. Okay. Dude, this is totally brand new. Oh my god. 641. Oh, 2000. There's 2000 of these. And then the artist is Olaf W. Hart Vigsen. He's the sculptor. And then the base says seven of nine, and there's a Voyager um, badge on the on the base. And it's seven of nine. It's just a bust, so there's no arms and stuff. Wow, this is so beautiful. So she's wearing her silver outfit with a com badge. Um, it's not much more to her outfit. There are some lines in it, which is which is really nice. This is just such a nice piece, though. It's really beautiful. It's actually, I used to sculpt a little bit and it's hard to like get the human head, you know, the right dimensions, um, the eyes and the nose and the mouth. It's just so hard. And if the eyes are bad, it's really distracting. Like if they're painted poorly or if they're just anything. And so like for you not to notice like for it not to distract you it's really good but anyway this is really nice and it's really heavy okay so yeah that's pretty much it for this video um thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys like all the merchandise that came in today um if you want me to know about future unboxing so free to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys next video